Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to utilize Ableton's melody and harmony converters to convert your audio melodies or audio clips into playable MIDI. Let's hop over to the studio and let's get started. Cool, so now we are in we are in the basic uh, default setup with the four channels here. Let me just scrap these MIDI channels real quick and just load up one audio channel. And we're going to go through these packs here. I'm going to find a decent harmony and melody clip and we're going to show you how to convert them into files. Let me just do that really quickly and then um, get back to you. Cool, so I think I've found collection of samples. This is a mode audio. Uh, it's called Sunset Electronica Pack and it has this cool like guitar-y, synthy kind of sound. Um, it's doing some harmonies. We'll do the harmonies first because they're a little bit more difficult and then we'll do the melodies. Um, understand once you do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find which one of these we like. Now keep in mind that um, when you convert your audio harmonies, MIDI harmonies, you're going to have a little bit of room for error. It's not going to be perfect. So the clips that work the best are the ones with no vibrato, um, pitch bending, or that sort of thing, um, because Ableton doesn't know what to do with that. So we're going to pick one that is very clean and uh, very easy to follow and would be easy to transpose. Let's just pick one. Perfect, that's a decent one. So what you have to do is you have to drag in a clip like so, and then um, you can also do this through the session view. And then you're going to right click on it and you're going to click on convert harmony into MIDI clip or new MIDI track. Feature that a lot of people don't know about, but it's very useful. I did it a little bit in my Collab Alliance episode, the last one I did. If you want to check that out and check out the Collab Alliance project, make sure to click on the link above me right now. Um, but I've utilized um, As you can see, we right-clicked on it and it converted it into a Harmony um, MIDI. So let's give this the, the original file another listen here so we can get an idea of how well it converted. So that was the original soloed. Now let's solo the new harmony melody and let's see how well it caught that MIDI. So if we take a closer look, it um, caught it really, really well. Uh, the chords are all there. And um, it's even applied like a, the, the MIDI it's written and a little bit of velocities to them as well. Um, obviously, when, when you do this, you have to do a little bit of cleanup. Um, you can go ahead and drag these notes to the beginning or um, you know extend the notes. To but that is a uh, harmony conversion. It's as simple as that. And then you have this MIDI to play with, and you can apply whatever sound you want to it. So let's just say that we wanted, I don't know, serum. Let's drag that onto that uh, MIDI, and let's just filter get it as harshly and turn it down because it's a quieter sound um, or a louder sound reckon um, and then hit play and there we go we've successfully converted that um, audio harmony into a MIDI harmony let's just do a, another uh, clip here let's grab the lead let's grab a lead rather in this group and um, I will pause the video and then come back right as I find a good sample so I found this cool art it's a little bit heavy on reverb but um, we're going to make it work what I'm gonna do is drag it into the session here I mean again you can also uh, do this in the I'm sorry drag it into the arrangement here again you can also drag it into the session if you uh, be I feel so inclined. Um, we'll actually do it this way because um, we haven't done it this way and we might as well. So we're going to right click on this and we're going to click on convert melody to new. It's going to process really quick and um, when we get it out it should be a playable MIDI lead. Let's see how that sounds. So 
So again, not perfect because of that reverb trail, but it did a good job of picking out the notes. All you'd have to do is drag them into the rhythm that you want and to perfect that rhythm. If you have a push to, you can hit quantize and then it will quantize everything into the grid. So that is the two major functions of the audio to MIDI. One more, but um, it's kind of unnecessary in my opinion and you'll never really use it. Um, the third and final version is the uh, drums to MIDI conversion, which takes a drum loop and then converts it into MIDI. Let's and then I'll get back to you in a moment. So I found this KJ song. Um, it is a 128 beat. Let's just give it a listen real quick. It's got a kind of syncopated rhythm. Click on it and then hit convert drums to new MIDI track. Now what this is going to do is it's going to convert these drums to a MIDI channel and it's going to try to pick out the right drums for the right sounds. Let's see how well it did. So we can actually and give it a listen. So I think out of the three conversions, the drum to MIDI is the least accurate um, and the least useful. Writing a pattern like this would be easier to recreate than it would be to convert and then edit, in my opinion at least. If we quantize, maybe we can get a little bit better, but um, again, It's not exactly on point, and it would be easier to reprogram drums like this than to convert to MIDI. So that is audio to MIDI Ableton Live. If this video gave you a hand or, uh, you know, gave you some valuable insight, leave it a like. It really helps a lot. Um, if it didn't, and if it didn't help you, give it a dislike so I know not to make videos like this in the future. Your likes and dislikes really dictate what you make. Uh, leave a comment if you want to learn something in the future. If you have any ideas for future episodes, um, I'm always down to take on requests and then do videos on them. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I make a video every Wednesday and Friday. And um, I enjoy talking to you guys in the next one. See you guys.